is a district that located on the very south of East Borneo. The current area of Pasir Gensi is 11,603.94 square kilometers, which consists of 10 district and 125 village, with population of 256,175 people in 2014. Pasir Gensi was built by Article Number 27 of 1959, with Tanah Grogot as the capital city. The anniversary of Pasir Gensi is held every December 29th. Pasir Gensi is inhabited by various tribes, such as Pasir, Bugis, Javanese, Banjar, and Madura. The native tribe is Pasir tribes, while the Bugis and Banjar tribes are immigrant tribes who used to work as fishermen and the Japanese rap are transmigrants who work in the plantation and agriculture. The majority of pastor residents are Muslim, that symbolically displayed by the clothing and various events. Pasir Regency has a lot of tourism objects, ranging from nature to historical relics, that must be visited when exploring this area, even from infrastructure buildings that has its own charm and some beautiful vibes. In a while, we are going to interview the Head of Regional Development Planning Agency, Mr. Moksin. Hello there, I'm Mukba Saliha and this is PEC Interview Series. We are delighted to meet such an important figure in our district, Pasar Regency. He is currently serve as the head of the Regional Development Planning Agency. Mr. Musin, how are you today? How are you today? Thank you. Uh, so, Mr. Musin, could you give us a brief explanation about the agency duty and function? Okay, well, uh, <coughs> Well, regional Development Agency of Pasu District is one of the uh, sporting agency in this uh, district. Uh, its function is to uh, support the head of uh, district uh, to uh, design uh, development planning in Pasu District. Uh, besides that, uh, this agency is also uh, do research and development. So we have one division here for uh, research and development divisions. Uh, this division uh, has function to uh, do research and development. And from this uh, research and development, we used to design planning for the future in Pasir District. Especially. Okay. So, I guess we're both aware that every region has its own characteristic like in cultural or geographical aspect, etc. Yeah. What specific characteristic Pasar has which affects the overall planning? I think we have a specific uh, cultural things in uh, Pasar district, we have specific you know, traditions and uh, by these uh, conditions, uh, we also have missions to, you know, accommodate the local traditions uh, in our planning. To tell you the truth that uh, in our missions, uh, <coughs> especially in the big missions, we have one mission uh, address the uh, culture, cultural things, uh, especially uh, local traditions. So we adopt this uh, traditional things into our planning. Uh, you know, uh, traditional things uh, are also important in influencing our uh, planning. Uh, and also we have also, you know, uh, special characteristic of people. I think uh, they support us to plan. You know, we have specific time to do uh, planning in uh, sub district. Yes. We call that Muslim and we invite all people, including 
uh, those who have roles in uh, you know traditional uh, people so we invite them to give their opinion to support our planning and we give them chance to express their opinions about uh, our planning so this is what we call a bottom up planning so each people each person have, has a uh, right to express their opinion uh, you know to support our, our development planning so give them chance to, to do that so it's some kind of like discussion yeah yeah Discussions. about people needs and then yeah. the agency will consider them and put it in the planning itself yeah you know we have uh, five mechanism in planning uh, you know uh, bottom up planning is one of them bottom up means that we uh, get information from uh, people to support our planning so they are free to express their opinions uh, how to you know how to de develop this district and how to uh, enrich our thinking to you know to build this uh, district okay so as we know the end of 2019 is close yes yeah. it's very near how was the progress so far like the funding and the execution and such yes i think uh, the progress of our program so far uh, is good um, the achievement of the progress is about uh, 80 percent yes now we are optimistic that by the end of uh, this year we can reach um, about uh, 85 to 86 percent of uh, the uh, programs so we believe that we can reach the uh, high level of uh, achievement uh, this year because uh, we have already done many things you know uh, in this year to tell you the uh, <coughs> the local budget in 2019 it's about 2.8 trillion so we have already you know uh, spent more than half of uh, this budget this year this year yeah. okay so during the whole process is there any obstacles along the way like How's the relationship, the cooperative relationship between this agency and the local government? Yeah, uh, we have uh, good cooperation with uh, all of the agencies in this uh, region. Um, but the problem is probably uh, about regulation. Sometimes, you know, regulation uh, has changed and of course it influence the uh, conditions of uh, the district so but so far uh, we can you know we can uh, overcome this problem uh, when uh, there is a problem so we discuss together with uh, other agencies other you know offices and then we uh, try to find out the solutions of the problems and so far, we can uh, overcome uh, the problems of the rise. Yeah. But is it possible though, like, do you really have to stick to the regulation or is it possible to change the regulation, uh, like, matching with our needs or it's not possible? It's not possible to change the regulation because usually regulations, uh, you know, come from, comes from the uh, central government. And yeah we just uh, follow the regulations or we can adjust the regulation with our local regulations to, yeah, to so i think that's a good thing to hear out that the agency also consider the citizens opinion 
and as a citizen myself, I'm very curious about this question. Like last August, our president, Mr. Joko Widodo, he announced that the capital city, city will be relocated to East Borneo, like pretty near to our region. And how's the difference now and then, before and after the relocation was decided? Well, uh, <coughs> we are very happy with these decisions basically because, you know, um, it will influence the conditions of our uh, district. And uh, to support uh, the capital of uh, Indonesia, we have already uh, designed a plan uh, regarding to um, President's speech, you know, uh, the President of the Republic of Indonesia has uh, prioritized uh, five things in the future. First one, the development of uh, human resources. Uh, in 2020, we have already designed uh, planning to uh, increase the quality of uh, human resources. And also the second one, um, the uh, president also, uh, you know, emphasized the uh, infrastructures. We also ha have, you know, <coughs> designed the uh, development of infrastructure. Uh, okay, infrastructure, we have already built uh, infrastructure before this, but we are going to continue to build infrastructure because uh, you know, we still have uh, a lot of, you know, damage yes. and then, you know, we continue to, to improve the uh, quality of infrastructures. And the third one is the uh, simplifying of uh, regulations and the fourth one is simplifying of uh, bureaucracy yeah. and the fourth one is the transport emissions of economy. And we also focus uh, focuses on <coughs> the uh, transformation of economy, you know, we depend much on natural resources nowadays. Uh, we uh, try to shift from uh, natural resources to uh, other, you know, other aspects like uh, agriculture, uh, tourism, and, and so on, to support the uh, capital of uh, Indonesia. Uh, we believe that we can one of district the which can contribute much to this uh, capital because we have you know a lot of resources we have I think we have um, uh, good quality human resources we can support this uh, city. So for the main portion itself is in the alternative sources and infrastructure, isn't it right? Yeah. Okay. And um, I heard that lately you've been to Japan yeah. and you have like a conference uh, about waste management and yes. environment. Yeah. So after you came back to Paser, yeah. Uh, are there any plans to implement that what you got in Japan in this region? Yeah, of course. Uh, <coughs> you know, the, uh, they have a very good waste management. Um, they, uh, you know, uh, have they have uh, in the uh, waste industry. They can uh, create. Waste become energy. They can create uh, waste become heat, and I think uh, we can uh, also apply some of uh, waste management system from Japan here, especially um, from you know food waste. Food, you know we we produce uh, very much uh, food waste. And we can actually treat this food waste become electricity and also become gas. We 
we are going to plan to do a visibility study next year to build this uh, industry. You know, uh, this uh, biogas industry. Oh, biogas industry. Yeah. yeah. We plan next year. We hope in 2022 we have, uh, you know, one biogas industry where we can produce gas and electricity. So biogas is one of the future plants. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any future plans aside from the biogas for 2020? Uh, we also plan to, you know, uh, increase the uh, water, clean water infrastructure yeah. because, you know, water is one of basic uh, human need. Uh, that's why we are going to focus to build uh, clean water infrastructure in uh, sub districts. Uh, we can't build at once because we are limited by, you know budget so we we uh, build them uh, step by step in uh, around our um, I'm a bit curious uh, after the announcement of the relocation was there any differences in the budget for our region we haven't got any additional budget from central government until now but uh, we hope next year we can uh, get you know, s uh, some or more budget to uh, support the uh, capital. Uh, probably uh, government or the central government will build by you know, national budget, not from the local budget. That's why what we, we get from national budget budget is not different from uh, the previous year. We still have uh, almost the same budget from the central government. We hope for the best. Yeah. yeah. And also, it's such a great time with you, Mr. Musin. We really yeah. feel honored and it's such a great pleasure. Thank you for your time. And uh, if the citizens want to, you know, follow up the latest news, is there any, like, media for them to do that? Okay, we have... Um, media center uh, it is managed by uh, communication and information agency and we also have a website www.passwordcup.go.id uh, uh, everybody can access this website we uh, always you know up update the information can access every time. Well, me myself as a citizen, I am really curious about how our region will turn out after the relocation and such. And I think I'm not the only one who very curious about this thing. So I really suggest you to check the website out and so that's it I think for today, Mr. Musin. Thank you for your time. And You're yeah, this is PEC interview session. I'm Nukma Saliha. See you later. Bye bye.
SISWANYA BERAPA INI BISA DITINGGIIN